The World Food Programme said in a report that due to the stifling funding crisis, the WFP were forced to make cuts in the malnutrition prevention program and reduce activities related to resilience and livelihoods. As we face an unprecedented global hunger crisis, concerns for the 17 million people who have long been food insecure in Yemen are at all-time high. While the crisis in Yemen is one of the most dire, brought on by protracted conflict, droughts and floods intensified by the climate crisis, COVID-19 and other diseases, while it has failed to attract adequate support from donors for years. In Sanha, Aden, Amran and Lahj, there are several cases suffering from extreme needs for nutritional supplements and medicine, and many cases of children suffering from severe acute malnutrition. The United Nations Office for Humanitarian Affairs confirmed that the food security situation in Yemen has worsened, amid an estimate that the situation will continue until December, with an expected increase in the number of people in Phase 3 of the interim classification of food security. According to a recent report on the humanitarian situation, the office stated that an additional 638,500 people have joined the list of people suffering from food insecurity. In its report, the office indicated that the malnutrition situation is complex, resulting from a combination of factors including food insecurity, poor food quality, measles outbreaks, low coverage in immunization campaigns, limited access to clean water and sanitation, and high levels of diseases. The report warned that very high food insecurity deprives children of adequate food, and the quality of food is also affected, which means that children need to get the micronutrients they need for growth. Also, poor access to clean water and sanitation makes children vulnerable to diseases. Men and women are working tirelessly on the front lines to support the people in need and to preserve their dignity despite the complex situation. But more of responsibility demands more urgent action to save lives now. The international community and donors must immediately scale up support to address the widespread hunger and malnutrition.